Hello, welcome. In this video, we're talking about bonds and kind of understanding some of the aspects of how they work. So bonds essentially pay out a fixed amount over a certain period of time. And there are certainly many types of bonds to get into and discuss. But the idea is when you have a bond, you're guaranteed a certain amount of payment at certain intervals. So for example, let's look at a, a bond example just so you can see exactly how this works. Let's say you buy a bond and it's a 10-year bond and you're told that you get 6% interest semi-annually. What would this even mean? Right? What would this look like? Well, let's, let's take apart the language here of the time. Semi-annually means twice a year. So twice a year you're going to get a payment on this bond and the amount you're going to get is going to be 6% cut in half. So 3% twice a year. And that's going to happen over 10 years. And if we look at that right away, you want to say, well, how much did you invest in the bond? Well, let's say we, in this case, we got a $10,000 bond. So we, we buy $10,000 worth of this bond. So that just means, um, when we look at that, with 10,000, 10, look at what is 6% of 10,000? Well, 6% of 10,000 is $600. So that just means every year you're going to get $600. But when you, it says 6% semi-annually, annually, the way they're going to pay that out is they're going to cut that amount in half. They're going to divide it by 2. So it's the interest that you're getting times the amount you're investing divided by the number of periods in your bond, right? In this case, the payout is divided by 2 because it's semi-annually. So that would be $300 twice a year. And if you were tracking this over the life of this bond, it's a 10-year bond. So for 10 years, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10 years, what's going to happen? Let's say once in June and once in December, split the year up that way, you're going to get a $300 payment. Once in June, once in December. Every single year, you get that fixed amount based on that interest rate. 300, 300, a little sloppy, all the way for 10 years. Now, on the 10th year, the last year, you finish up with another 300 twice. And if you look at the totals of what's happening here, you're getting a total of $3,000 in this column, 310 times. Another 3,000 in this column here. Put that together and Plus, you get the face value back of the bond that you paid, and that's going to give you $16,000 in total. So in this case, you've made, you have a total of $16,000 after 10 years, the $10,000 you paid to invest in it, plus the interest. And you're guaranteed those payments, and you get back the par value or face value of the bond at the end there. So the payments in general, the bond payments, we can say some things here the bond payments are going to be equivalent to the principal, the starting investment, the amount of the bond you bought, times the interest rate, whatever it is, we got 6%, it's usually based on years, divided by N, which is the number of pay, number of pay periods. Number of pay periods per year. And this is a simple interest problem. In other words, the interest amount, the 6% divided by 2, we're not compounding anything, it's not changing, it's just basically 3% twice a year for 10 years. And that's all there is to it. This is typically how the bond payout works. And there are, there are lots of variations. But what we can say is that, in general, what you might expect to find in the category of corporate bonds, so bonds that are backed by corporations, versus bonds backed by the government, municipal bonds, you might expect that, for example, if you pay for a $10,000 corporate bond versus a $10,000 bond through the government, you might find a higher interest rate with the corporate and a lower with the municipal bond. And that means in this case, let's say 6% annually, I don't know how it's cut up, how many times, but each year you're going to get $600. And while it's true that you get $500 with the government bond, there, you might also realize that the corporate bonds, 
depending on the specifics here, can be taxed. So in this case, let's say our tax is at 28% of that $600 on $6,000, $600. That would be $168, right? That's just 0 0.28, 0 0.28 times 600. 0.28 times 600. So uh, assuming we're at that bracket, let's just test that real quick. 0.28, times the $600 in interest. So you see that, that right now, that 168, that's our tax that we're paying. And with a municipal bond, there might be no tax, depending on the situation. So in this case, if we compare these two, really with the corporate bond, you're getting $432 per year. And with the municipal bond, you're getting that full 500. So you want to be careful when you're comparing bonds. Not only are the payouts different, but maybe the tax structure is different. That depends on the laws of the time, but just in general, look out for those kind of differences. It's not just about the interest rates, right? It's about the taxes that are attached to it and the way in which they pay it out. So what you're going to read about in this section is what are the different types of bonds and how do they pay out? All right, thanks.